twofold. Yeah. Clearly not good enough. And secondly was only one way out of this and it's it's together. The whole club hurting, every component. That's what we talked about. Head down, work hard. There you go. What, what specifically worked out with the things that weren't good enough that you weren't happy with? How long you got? Yeah, I did. Yeah, the, I, I thought we... No, no, we were combative early. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't last long enough. But, yeah, we, we were combative early. I, yeah, what we talked about was we have to allow some time for huge disappointment for the players to we can't pretend the last two hours didn't exist all right so we, we all got to you know man up or person up whatever the correct term is and, and accept that it wasn't good enough And you know, your question, you know, so yeah, well, I went through and we articulated these aspects of the game, not up to standard, and just got to work at them during the week, Pete. And you know, we had a, a quick discussion, and it was it was pretty much summarised. There was you know nobody there that came up with any other way other than. So identify the areas and let's work our backsides off. It's it's a, it's a long road. We've second crack at a rebuild in five years and we're not off the basement just yet. Would it be fair to say you thought you were further ahead because you thought you were much further ahead? Oh. Yeah, I, I thought we'd get closer to the Bombers uh, this evening. Um, but in terms, uh, the scoreboard, the scoreboard's a scoreboard, and, and that's the last thing we see. We, we understand that. And, you know, it will be to go back that, uh, that initial period in the game and, and just to have a look at that. Yeah, that's, that's how we want to play consistently. Uh, uh, that's what it looks like. And then there were certain players in that period of the game that were quite reasonable, and then as as the game wears on, obviously the intensity has, has dropped the last two weeks. We just asked a couple of questions, you know, of coaches and, and everyone as well, you know, just to just to reinforce that, you know, everyone is in it together, and everyone's doing, you know, spending. They're working smart, they're spending enough time and, and working their backsides off to improve the place. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no easy way out that's, you know, that's clear. You say everyone says, they say they're in it together. Do you actually believe that everyone is in it together and they are capable of getting themselves out of this rut? Yeah. This has happened before. It'll happen again. Do you think they believe they can be competitive in the short term? Yeah, I do. Uh, I, that thing I said before, though, there, I, we just need to... We need to have that twofold, you know, I've got to show them a lot of care but a lot of tough love at the same time. I, I, I'm pretty keen just to... Yeah, given that message... Uh, my job's to look after them as well as to educate them on how to play footy. Uh, 
I'm looking after him right now. And uh, we've got seven days before we play. Um, uh, I'm looking after the club's players right now. Mark, was Jack Watts injured or was he subbed out for form? Uh, Jack Watts was ill and subbed out for form. Ill as in? Sick. He, he, he didn't feel great. Oh, he was sick. And his performance was also one that we thought that was enough. What did you think of the result of the Oh, look, when you, take, when you take the field, you're 100% fit. It's the way it works. Jake, I owe you a couple of phone calls too. I did, I did see you missed calls and I chose not to call you back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel what they're feeling. Um, well, I don't feel great either. That's no consolation to our supporters. I I am aware what our supporters have been through in the past. Everybody is. It would be similar to, or probably the same, Jake, as the as the players, really. You know, if we are in it together, uh, we do have. Uh, I'm still confident that we have a we got a core group, a core group of players, mostly young and inexperienced group, but some not so. That they're working their backsides off to become AFL standard. And we're to get the whole club going that way. And that's that's a hard thing for supporters to hear. I understand that. We're having a crack here at trying to rebuild a rebuild, Jake. And it's gonna be painful. Got it. Tonight, unacceptable. Not good enough. Let's get to work. And you know, we can't. You know, we just need to find the players that, that are up for it consistently, up for the fight consistently. We've just got to shuffle them in and shuffle them out and see who's, who's up for it. It's hard work yeah, for the boys, very. Around um, 10 last year, you completed Yeah. On a wet day. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, mm, I hadn't thought of, about that question, Jake. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. There, I don't know, mate. They, 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 um, you know, they beat us in every facet of the game. They were extremely good, and they were also very, very good against Adelaide in, in round one, 14 days ago. Very, very good, and uh, they continued their form. And our boys, obviously, couldn't hold it. Lack confidence just after half time and, and away they went. Mark, you spoke about tough love. I mean, are there individuals that you're sort of you know, losing patience with now? Oh, not after, not after two games, no. Did you feel, you say it's a second rebuild second within five years, did you feel almost a sense of yours selling well in the first few years? Did you get a different feel out of it? No. No, no. I, what do you mean? You know, in terms of what you had to have a second crack in the rebuild. Yeah. Do you feel like in terms of the players that you were inheriting and you've had to you know, reshape that again? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, when, um, when we started, we, we realised again that we had a, had a group that, uh, you know, mostly inexperienced but, but talented. They, you know, they wanted to be. That they were ready to get an increase, a slight, but ready to get an increase in, in training and and that type of stuff, and which they've had, and, and we went again this year. It's a, it's a slight increase, so so that's improvement. No, but I, I don't agree with your your first thing there. And, and just the, the, the trigger of what's from some of the sectors of the crowd, how, how do you think that would affect them? Would you feel unfairly? 
Uh, can I lie? Oh, no, I didn't. I heard the crowd last week. I had, a, look, I can honestly tell you, I had a mean things going through my mind. I didn't, I'll have, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and have a listen. No, actually, I won't have time for that. Um, Jack's a professional AFL player. Let's, let's just get going. Mark, the uncontested position numbers are so big? Yeah. Mm. Does this team have a range capacity? Uh, he doesn't measure on that. Can they actually do the running required to be able to do that? It's a loaded question because you. Well. Is the range capacity not consistently over four quarters, Jake. No, we we know that. We our midfield in particular is um, at the the very true essence of the word words. They're in development phase. Like probably our our you know, Nathan Jones, a very good AFL player. He carries a lot, and the, the other bloke that we're trying to rely on. Oh, sorry, the other bloke we do rely on. Played his second game with a rolled ankle in the first quarter. So yeah, we're we're aware of that. We can do what we can do when, until the boys get going. Well, they have to because they're the best leaders at the Melbourne Footy Club. No, did you hear what I said? Mm. They are the best. They are the best equipped players at this football club, and you need leaders. And they are the best leaders that we have. Mark, I'm sure Melbourne supporters perhaps have. Yep. Well, I'm not going to forfeit next week. We're going to have as big a crack as we can on. And the beauty about competitive sport in particular is you get another go, in this case seven days, we'll be back. And as I said before to the fellow in the front, this happened before and uh, it'll happen again, you know, to a club, some clubs, and they get back. Thanks,